Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I made these super duper cute, I don't know what to call it. I will say, I wanna say like extended leg pants or stacked pants or whatever you wanna call it. I don't know if y'all know about the trend, but like it's like a new trend and, and the pants are like stacked. They're like really long, but like stacked. I'll just insert some pictures, but yeah. Um, in this video, I will be showing y'all how I made these pants myself from scratch and yeah, I will be making more of these and I will be selling them. Due to all the good feedback that I got on Instagram, I definitely will be going to get more fabric and I'll be making these in extra small to plus size because I know I have bigger people, I have smaller people. Stay tuned if you want to see how I made these bomb pants. And mind you, it only took me an hour to make. So if you're if you're a beginner sewer, I feel like this will still work for you. But if you're already knowing how to sew whatever, you can get this done really quick. So yeah, just make sure y'all stay tuned and see how I made these pants. So for this one, um, I already made some white pants. And I'll insert a picture of how they look on my body. But yeah, I'm about to just make another pair in gray. This is my pattern. So pretty much you'll need to take a pair of leggings and trace, just make a, this is not really like how to make a pattern tutorial. So like just look up how to make a pattern. But yeah, I made my pattern for my leggings. And then this is the length of the leggings. And then I just made the part to extend it. So yeah, this is how the pants will look. And then they'll kind of extend. And this is the fabric that I'm using. I don't know. This fabric, I just got both of these from Joann's today. The white one is white um, rib knit. And it was only 0.806 yards. And I literally had just enough to make one pair of pants. And then the gray is dark gray heather cotton and spandex. is one yard. So yeah, I'm about to make a better pair out of the out of this fabric because I have more fabric so I got the fabric you need your pattern you're gonna need some pins I have this also a tape measure you're also gonna need some thread I'm probably right now in my sewing machine I have a white thread but I'm gonna change my bobbin thread to this gray for when I do the waistband and stuff then you need an elastic band a marker I guess to like mark out on your pattern you know everything that you need to write like make your seam allowance there is actually no seam allowance on this so when I put it on the fabric I cut an inch away from the um, fabric hi kitty hi what you can do is either fold it twice or fold it over four times so you don't have to make two separate patterns and attach them so what i'm gonna do is fold it over four times so you can cut all the fabric at the same time and it'll all be the same size when you measure in the fabric make sure you put your pattern over it to see if you'll have enough seam allowance so you always put the straight part on the fold and this is i marked it right here place on fold so you just put it right here and then we're going to see if we have enough seam allowance which i feel like this is a pretty good amount of seam allowance because this is stretchy fabric actually i'm gonna make it a little a smidge smaller and then i'm gonna just fold this over four times okay so here i have my pins and what i'm going to do is i'm gonna pin the pattern to the fabric so when i'm cutting it doesn't move So this is how it looks and this is how much fabric we have left over which is good because we want them to be extended so so take your scissors and just start to cut out the fabric also another thing you want to make sure when you place your pattern on you're placing it on you know the way of the stretch make sure it's stretching this way and not up and down You honestly don't need that much seam allowance because this is very stretchy fabric. Okay. 
Then when I get here, I'm going to flare it out just a little bit. Now you want to move all this out the way. So now you open it. You have what almost looks like pants. So now what you want to do is put the outside you want to pretty much turn them inside out and on this fabric i really can't tell which side is the inside and which side is outside okay so as you can see i put the the good side on the inside and you know pretty much turned the inside out it was really hard to tell but so now what you're going to do you have this big fabric that looks like i don't know it kind of looks like a coffin so this is the top and that's the bottom of your pants now you want to Put them together and pin on these two sides and sew it. So you pin these sides and then you go to your sewing machine and sew them. The sewing machine that I have is the Brother. I really don't know what um, the name of it is, but if I find like the model and all that, I'll definitely put it on the screen but this is what my sewing machine looks like i got it off of ebay and um yeah got my thread i'm about to just sew this and come back So now that you have this, what you want to do is open it like this and separate it and it pretty much becomes pants. So yeah, it pretty much becomes pants. So now at this point, oh, and by the way, I use a zigzag stitch for that part that I just did on four that's the zigzag I used. As you can see, there's different types of zigzags. I used like the loosest one. And then for the elastic band part, I use number seven for a straight stitch. Yeah, now that you separated it and it looks like pants, what you're going to do is take the two seams, this seam that's going down the middle. You want to take the two seams and match them together. As you can see, this is how it is. So you want to match them together exactly and then when you do that you want to pin it and then i just watched the tutorial and they said on the seams you should make one seam you know how the seam is kind of like this you should make one seam on one side go one way and then on the other side make it go the other way if you can see so it makes it flatter and then you want to just pin it all down the leg and get ready to sew so now we have our pants pinned. As you can see, they look like some real nice leggings. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did. I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch and I'm going to sew along the seam. I'm gonna start with the seam part just so I can like hurry up and get it over with, with like making sure that that part is flat. So I took the pin out and I'm putting it right on the seam. Oh, wow. I literally just sewed through my finger. Y'all be careful when you're doing this. Oh my God, ouch. Like literally the needle went through the edge of my finger. Luckily it didn't go through a thicker part of my finger. I'm gonna go get a Band-Aid. So now both sides are sewn. This is when you want to try them on and make sure they fit okay. Make sure the seams and everything look okay. Oh, by the way, I don't, I can't find any band-aids. So this is what they look like. So this is what they look like. This is what they look like at the bottom. I think I'm going to make them skinnier and then extend them. 
So here we have our pants. I'm probably going to do the elastic band. Well, actually, no. I'm going to do every, everything and show y'all. But this is what the bottom looks like. Like I said, I think I'm going to make them um, come in a little bit more. This is what the bottoms look like. And I want to bring them in maybe like this much. I'm going to cut kind of a little bit of that much off. And then I'm going to make the part that's extended. So we're going to take our leftover fabric. So this is definitely a piece that we can use. Pin this down and cut it. And I'm just make another one of these. So as you can see, this one is a little bit smaller. So I'm going to just do is make them all even. And then we're going to go to back to the pants. So here is the pants here's the bottom part of the pants and then what we're going to do is attach this so like I said I'm going to make this skinnier so that obviously it can line up here with these two pieces all you got to do pin the sides and sew down both sides So I'm going to go re-sew this and then sew these two and then come back. So now I have the pants. I re-sewed them to make them kind of slimmer. And then I also sewed the extended part. So now what we're going to do is attach them. So what you want to do is turn the pants right side out. Not inside out, but right side out. So turn them the right way pretty much. You're gonna take your pieces. Now the way I did mine, as you can see, they kind of like flare out on each side. So what I'm gonna do is turn them this way and I'm gonna have the flare out part kind of like on the inside. So you take the pants leg and what you're gonna do is put it pretty much through the pants leg. Like put it over, leave it inside out and put it over the pants leg and match up the two seams on the sides. And when you sew, you just kind of stretched out a little bit. But then when you take it, when you undo it, obviously it's going to be, you know, attached. So we're going to do that to both of the legs. On these little things, there's two seams, but on the actual pants, there's one seam and that's on the inside. So yeah, just make sure you match the two seams sew it and then I will be back and for this one I'm using the straight stitch so I'm moving it to number seven so we have now sewed our extended part so we're going to turn it inside out and this is what it should look like now we have our extended pants so I'm gonna just try these on real quick just to see how they fit so with these, they came out actually exactly how I wanted them to. They're a lot more cozy, as you can see. They're very long, and this is exactly how I wanted them. So now we're about to do the elastic band part. So just take your elastic band and put it around your waist. Only tug on it a little bit, and then I'm going to cut it like right here. So now with the elastic band, what I did was tur I turned the pants back inside out. And what you're going to do is basically fold it over just an inch, just enough so that the elastic band can go through. So I'm doing it about... 
So here is where I'm going to change to the gray thread just to kind of like match this a little bit. I'm going to take um I'm going to take the white thread out and I'm going to take my white bobbin out and I'm going to thread this bobbin with some gray and then yeah, we're going to get started. When doing the elastic band part, also make sure you leave a small hole so that you can slip the elastic through. Now I'm going to take the elastic and I have a small safety pin. You just stick the safety pin through the elastic and you stick it through the hole that you left and you pretty much just kind of thread it through. You just slide it through with the safety pin all the way through to you get to the opening again. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the elastic and you're going to sew. I, usually I'll sew like a square just to make sure it's secure. And then you're pretty much done. And then you just sew up the closing, the opening. I just sew kind of like this. I mean, it doesn't really have to be neat. It's not going to be showing at all. I just cut all this extra thread off. It's not a full square, but it's secure enough. So now you want to just kind of pull this. So that is inside the pants and then you want to sew over this opening so now for the big reveal I'm about to turn them back right side out and try them on and show y'all what they look like I'm gonna leave the bottom like this I'm not um, hemming them or anything so this is how they came out she bought those what did she say? this is how I wanted the white ones to be but it didn't really work out that way. But yeah, this is how. And I made these specifically to wear my Yeezys with. Yeah, they're nice and stretchy. 